what is a function really? Now, first of all, a function is not the same as a formula, although those words are typically used to explain the same thing. Now, a formula is whatever starts with an equal sign in Excel, and that can contain a function, but it is not a function on its own. So a formula for adding numbers together could look like this, a1, a plus a2, three, four, five, six. But a function inside a formula that does the same could look like this. Now notice the range here, and a range is simply a bunch of cell uh, grouped together, so they're adjacent to each other. Now this is an easier way of going about adding these cells together. And you can't do that with a formula on its own. Now a function has a syntax and that's the structure of the function. Now, most of them are pretty easy. So an equal sign, that's not a part of the syntax. That's just to get it started with a formula and then a function name, an open parenthesis, an argument and a close parenthesis. Now this is called the syntax, the name, the parenthesis, and the stuff that goes into the uh, actual function, and that's the arguments. Now, an argument can be a cell and it can be a range, which is uh, just a, another word for a group of adjacent cells. It could also be true or false or one or zero or text or something else, but typically it's a cell or a range, at least here with the simple beginner functions. Now, let's start with the sum function, the most popular and used function in the world, in Excel at least. So let's write the syntax for the sum function. So the argument of the, of the sum function is typically a range of cells. So we have an equal sign, the word sum, which is the function name, and then an open, open parenthesis and a range. And that range could be G3 through G20. And that's the actual range we're gonna sum up in a bit. Now, just a closed parenthesis and that's it. Now, it's very important to note that you could not just write this in a cell and then that would sum up uh, the, the range G3 through G20. It would not do it because that's a formula. You need a function, so that would not work. So to sum up some cells and let's just sum up all the total prices over here, write equal and the function name, which is sum, open parenthesis, and then select all the cells you wanna sum up, G3 through G20, close parenthesis and hit enter. Now that's a little more than 31,000. That's the sum. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Now let's do that one more time sum g3 through g20 you can also write it you don't have to select it hit enter that's it now let's look at something really interesting because all simple functions work the same so equal sum g3 through g20 that contains the argument which is just a range so the range of the cells we want to sum up now, instead of writing sum here, we can just write something else. We can write the count, and that would actually count the number of cells in that, um, in that range. Now, we don't have to write count. We can instead write average, and that would calculate the average of the values in that range instead. That's all because the syntax is simply function name and an argument. And that argument in this case is just a range. Let's try it out. Let's count these cells, right? Count, open parenthesis, select the cells, close parenthesis. That's it. There are 18 cells with numbers here. Let's calculate the average, right? Average. You don't actually have to write it with capital letters. You can also just write average like this. Open parenthesis, select the cells close parenthesis, hit enter, that's the average. Let's find the minimum value of these cells. So that's just min, open parenthesis, and select the cells, close parenthesis, hit enter. Let's find the largest number in those cells. 
max open parenthesis and select the numbers i think you get it now close parenthesis and hit okay enter hit enter not okay and that's actually it that's how you find all these key numbers for this data set in just a few seconds by using functions and all simple functions work this way or at least most simple functions work this way so uh, that's why you can calculate all these specific numbers very easily with functions thanks for watching